Joining us now is Peter Finn. He writes about national security matters for the Washington Post. He was at Guantanamo in the past month, and he joins us now from Washington. Peter, during your recent visit there, tell us what you were able to see. Well, there were pretrial hearings for five of the 9-11 defendants. These are among the, or these are the most high-profile defendants at Guantanamo Bay. They include Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, the alleged mastermind of the 9-11 attacks. And they were mostly dealing with various motions because um, they have not yet gone to trial. So these were simply pretrial proceedings. Do these proceedings look very much like a trial in this country? Um, well, at one level, yes. I mean, you have a judge, you have uh, military and civilian attorneys, you have prosecutors, um, and the government argues that these are comparable, fair, and transparent proceedings, but the defense attorneys say, essentially, uh, that these are um, kangaroo courts where they have, uh, do not have a right to all the evidence um, that they would like to get, particularly the what happened to these individuals when they were held in secret for several years by the CIA at various locations worldwide. You know, there has been discussion about closing down Guantanamo. From what you've seen with the visit you had there, does it appear that the, the camp is in any way being prepared to close? Um, it doesn't, but this is essentially a decision for the next administration, um, whether it's McCain or Obama. Um, and they will be faced with closing it down, and most, both of them have said they will close it down. What is unclear is how they will close it down, the mechanics of actually doing that. When you have 255 people, um, you have to take them somewhere, you have to decide what kind of legal proceeding to institute against them, presumably in the United States, or you have to arrange their release. Peter Finn, who is with the Washington Post, thank you very much. You're welcome.